Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Real Final Draft. My name is Danny and this is Rich. Yo. And we are both filmmakers, obviously. Um, you know, we're creating short films each month and, you know, using our skill sets and knowledge and, you know, also learning while we're doing these things will help us, you know, create maybe a feature film in the future. Yeah. So... Uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to choose genres for uh, for this film, right? Actually, we're not going to choose the genre. We're going to let Destiny choose the genre. Yeah. And I think what we like about this whole process is that uh, it kind of like helps us in the writing process. Mm -hmm. You know, when you tell me to write anything on a blank piece of paper and give me no guidelines... Dude, I could do a drawing. You know what I mean? You have to tell me I have to write a story. And you have to tell me what the story should be about. Or maybe not what it about, but like, you know, give me some parameters, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we are ingrained to do this because of school. You know, uh, school gives you the parameters and then, you know, gives you the assignment and then you fall under the assignment. So this is how we're giving ourselves the assignment. We're doing this so that we can uh you know f build that muscle in writing build that muscle in in producing films i like this idea because you know uh it, it took me a while to to call myself a writer to even call myself a director even even though i've been doing this for so many years i've been telling people like yeah i'm an aspiring writer or i'm a aspiring director filmmaker right yeah but then uh, i didn't really take on the identity of being a filmmaker until i don't know it, it, i think it just took a couple of films and people were just calling me straight up a filmmaker and i'm like really you know i didn't even you know get a degree in filmmaking <laughs> <laughs> It's like, true. can I really be a filmmaker without a degree? What? <laughs> yeah, so that blew my mind. But yeah, you know, we're, we're just uh, building our skill sets. And we're building our skill sets because we know we're going to make a future film soon. But we are nowhere close to ready to, uh, to direct the team, to, to handle, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions of dollars. Yeah, I probably might just pocket it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dang, I knew it. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get straight into it. Here's our genre that we're going to shoot. Uh, I took out horror. I took out uh, oh. romance. Mystery. Whoa. Yo. Dang. All right, I'm down. Genre. We'll write that down later. Mm -hmm. mystery uh we have two cameras left that we haven't shot with that we own and that's the black magic and the red mm -hmm. the <laughs> red komodo yeah we have the komodo we have a. Uh, we have access to a couple of reds actually mm -hmm. what do you guys think about that red or nikon acquiring red that's crazy right Dang. Let us know about the comments down there. I'm going to pick up there. that Nikon Dragon. What's <laughs> <up>? <laughs> Hopefully it's not a potato. <laughs> Dang. I know that blew my mind, actually. But you know what that means is that uh, you know how reds usually come with EF, sent EF uh, mounts? Yeah. That means they're going to have Nikon mounts. And it's going to push out. Maybe not push out completely, but it's going to definitely compete I, I feel like nikon glasses are pretty clean mm -hmm. like i remember having the 70 to 200 nikon glass oh man it was like one of my fa favorite lenses see the thing is that like for me i never had a nikon camera <laughs> i went for a canon uh but that mean that shows your age yeah just knowing that i played with nikon <laughs> means it shows my age i mean i guess like seeing nikon acquiring red hopefully you know hopefully we'll see what the future oh, brings dude, it'll with be it dope. it'll be dope they have a nikon has an army of workers of brilliant workers i bet mm -hmm. and you know i can see them taking the red code and putting it right into a dslr type size 
Oh yeah. You know what I mean? It could be like a, it could be interesting. We haven't figured out like what's going to happen yet, but we'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll see, huh? So what are you trying so, to shoot? What do we got? What, so can you get that lens cap right there? We're going to flip, flip coin for red and black magic. Yeah. All right, so we have a lens cap here. This is heads. This is tails. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it as it goes in the air. Hopefully it doesn't This break. is for the red. This is for the black magic. The black magic. Okay, so we're going to do heads and tails. Yeah. Call in the air. Heads. Ow, that hurt. Oh, it's heads. What did I say? It was, it's our the, red it's red because it's black black magic. Okay, so we're gonna shoot with the red, which is cheating, you know, because we usually shoot with the red with short films. So this kind of goes in our realm mm -hmm. when we shoot short films. It was kind of interesting shooting with the phone and GoPro. GoPro. Like those productions were, I want to say it was more fun. I don't. I I mean, I'm not saying that it it's not fun shooting with the Sony. Or with the red, I think what I mean by that is that uh, like it, the limitations that you feel like you have with the phone and the GoPro, maybe it's not limitations. Maybe it's actually the advantages that you, you got because you can't get a shot underwater with a red without a crazy rig around it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But with a GoPro, we could put it like right into the cup. <laughs> you know what That's I mean? true. That or like with the iPhone you'd be able to change lenses within like, you know, wide, middle, and then like super yeah. close up. I think the real advantage to the iPhone is that we got to fit in places and capture like wide angles in the, in those tight spots. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That and like the, the stabilization within the camera also helps out. Oh, that was dope. Yeah, we didn't have to rig it up or anything. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. But yeah, I yeah, mean, let it, us know like what you guys think um, would you guys choose an iPhone or a GoPro to shoot a Dude, short film? I mean, give it five years. Nikon will figure it out, dude. We're shooting a mystery. We're shooting on a red. Do we need a prop? We do need a prop. I should have asked her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anybody to call for a prop? Hey, what's up? Saeed. 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 Hey. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How about you? Good, good. Working on a new project? Yeah. yeah. That's literally what we're filming right now. Yeah, we're filming again. <laughs> but uh, I just want to ask you again. What? What is a uh, prop? Is. Or yeah, can you give us a prop? Give us a prop. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Um... Uh, Shopping cart. Shopping cart. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> oh, dude, I like it. <laughs> Damn, that means we need to take a shopping cart. I guess. <laughs> Will it fit? <laughs> we'll take it, bro. Chandra. Wait, 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 wait. That's not what I wanted to put. I wanted to put month four four bro that's what i wanted to put i guess i'll use my hand let's change color let's make this pretty genre camera and prop What do we got again? We got mystery. Mystery. Camera. We're shooting on the red and a prop. Shopping cart. <laughs> Shopping cart. That's wild. What's the first thing you think of? when you hear mystery, like something that you have already seen? 
Uh, I think about like detective. Okay, detective. What's a good detective movie you've seen in recent years? <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, they made him into a detective. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think he's originally a detective in the comics. What's her name? You started watching that one show with your daughter. Oh, yeah, Nancy Drew. There you go. The more and more we watch Nancy Drew, it sh- she shouldn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell her to close her eyes often. I also think of like Scooby Doo. There you go. Yeah. Scooby Doo is cool. Is Scooby Doo with an E? With a D O O. That was, yeah, put a Y. There's no E. There's no E? Yeah. Scooby Dooby Doo. Scooby Doo is interesting because it's always the person who says this is haunted. <laughs> In the beginning, you know, like the characters will go to a haunted house. They meet like a a landlord. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have the whole crew. Hey, what's up? Right. You have the whole crew come in. They meet the landlord. Then they go through all this obstacles and it's the landlord in the end. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes you'd be like, when you do watch a detective movie, you try to find a person yeah. in, within it. But then you do meet some characters here where it's like, oh, that could be a suspect and that could be a suspect. But mm-hmm. they stick to this blueprint like glue, bro. Sometimes they'll switch it up. They'll like, you know, sometimes they'll say it's like, like the wife that shows up of the landlord. Mm-hmm. And it was wife the whole time. Sweet. There we go. Uh, That's our timeline, bro. (laughs) Let's do a Scooby-Doo timeline. I mean, you know, to be honest, it's April 16th today, right? And if we want to shoot this and really finish this month, we should take, like, just a scene of this. Like, let's just say... This is this is the timeline we we get, mm-hmm. right? Like we just showed this the ending instead right. of a thirty minute episode, we just show that, mm-hmm. and which is basically the crew comes in and they solve it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like a scene where a person walks in, it's already solved, but he, just, you know, like. Like we put a, you know, Sherlock Holmes maybe. Oh, that's a good example. And then Sherlock Holmes will come in. Yeah. And then tells you like all this. Like, like right away. Yeah. Literally right away. <laughs> it's like, oh man, this guy is crazy smart. Have you seen Sherlock Holmes? The the episode? Not the movie? I have not. Dude, it's so good. I only saw the one with, um, what's his name? Robert Downey? Yeah. You got to watch the one that's. True England. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we could do something like that. Just like a, a genius detective without going through all these obstacles. Basically walks in almost like um, Monk. Have you seen Monk at least? I have not seen Monk. Psych? No. Have you seen Psych? You are depriving yourself of really good <laughs> cinema here, bro. What do you guys think? <laughs> Should I watch those? Is it series or, or yeah, movies? Yeah, they're definitely series. Let me know in the comments if I should watch it. You should watch it, bro. <laughs> now that we're doing mystery, you really got to watch it now. <laughs> Out of all of them, you should watch Psych. Psych's a good one. On Netflix? Hulu. Okay, I have Hulu. Yeah. Psych's really good. Um, okay, so you have... Because uh, it's funny because Psych, Monk, those are like American versions of Sherlock Holmes. That's true. You know what the, pre- the, the preface is for Psych? 
I don't. So Psych is about basically a Sherlock Holmes character who is seen as psychic from, and he also claims himself as psychic, Mm -hmm. but he's not. He just does detective work before everybody else does just by looking at it. Oh, damn. And he could do like Sherlock Holmes stuff in his mind, like right away. Like the first scene of Psych is literally his dad testing him how many hats are in the restaurant. And he counts like 13 hats. It's like, nope, wrong. There's 12 hats. And he's like, no, a guy went into the bathroom before before you made that count. And then a the guy walks out of the bathroom. See, 13 hats. <laughs> <laughs> like that's literally <laughs> the first episode. That's crazy. No, the, the, not even the first episode, like the first 30 seconds of Psych. It's super memorable. I, I watched Psych maybe like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I still remember that scene. Oh, dang. It's like, what, 2014-ish? Maybe. It could Came be out. even earlier than that. No, I don't want to check. It could be earlier than that. Mm-hmm. But I, I remember religiously watching Psych. How many seasons? I think like seven. Seven seasons. Dang. And then there's a movie. There might be two. <laughs> There might be two psych movies. I have to watch all seven seasons. <laughs> then I got to watch a movie. <laughs> I'm like, dang, this is crazy. Yeah, dude, it's like an anime, you know? <laughs> you got to watch the first two seasons and then there's a movie. And then a, a two seasons and another movie. But the movie, is that is the movie after the season or is the movie within the season? The movies are just movies with the character. It's like a, it's like a Naruto movie it's like, like a filler once you it. know who the characters are then the movie is just its own little mystery mm. yeah yeah i'll check it out you should check i it guess out. i'll check out psych first um okay let's do that i, I like this because you know you just have a sherlock holmes character come in i don't know why i'm drawing now i'm not doing my timeline <laughs> he comes in sees a crime scene involving a shopping cart <laughs> maybe the shopping cart is just an indication that where there are. So maybe it's a grocery store. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe we could do grocery store. No, that's hard, huh? Not with the resources we have. What if we take this Nancy Drew idea and this Sherlock Holmes guy and put it together? Uh, hear me out. Nancy drew books. So you have uh, maybe a little girl who's reading a book in the back of a car, mm-hmm. right? And is so in tuned in the book. So while she's reading the book, maybe it's like in her story, if you just watched only her story, it would be car walking down the aisle of a grocery store. Um, what am I trying to write there? I was going to put walking in the aisle, but I put while. (laughs) So walking down the aisle. And grocery going in the car. Groceries in trunk. Like that's her story. And we intercut what she's reading. And she's reading this. Sherlock Holmes going into solving this mystery. Mm -hmm. So that means we need this scene long enough so that we could tell this story too. Unless we just take out that. And then we just do aisle, groceries, and trunk. Mm -hmm. So we need to sound smart. (laughs) Or we could go in the direction of psych and not sound smart and just be goofy because he literally reminds me of like Jim Carrey almost. No. Oh. Like, when, when, when he, like, I feel like they, they watched Ace Ventura, like the creators watch Ace Ventura and said, that's who our character should be. <laughs> Ace Ventura is also a good detective. <laughs> Why is he not in the list, Dang. man? He has two movies. Those are funny movies, too. Those are great movie. <laughs> okay. Um, what mystery does he solve? Murder? Something stolen? Maybe stolen? Something stolen. I think we should do murder, bro. Murder? 
because it would be fun to just have somebody lay on the floor with <laughs> blood coming out. It's true. <laughs> and then Sherlock Holmes' character comes in, looks at the body, have a photographer, psh, <laughs> smokes a cigar. I'm almost thinking, what if we take the Sherlock Holmes character and make it the girl? Oh, yeah. Make it the girl. So she's imagining herself, right? Mm-hmm. As, as the detective already. Oh, yeah, because she's reading the book, right? Yeah. She's reading the book, and it's her as the main character. She yeah. imagines herself as the main character and seeing this scenario. So we we can make funny, like, uh, adages where instead of smoking a cigar, it could be like... A licorice. Chewing a gum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, licorice. Okay, I like this direction. It's a it's a pretty interesting direction. So she does this. It's this it's this case. Like it it needs to be like a, a wow, what a good observation. Mm-hmm. Right? <clears throat> One of my favorite riddles that I've ever solved was the the light bulb riddle with three switches and there's three lights. Mm-hmm. They're in two different rooms with only flicking one switch as to be on, right? Yeah. So when you walk in the other room, uh, only you're only allowed one light to be on. How can you be perfectly sure that what light goes to which switch? Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite riddles. And the answer to that is um, you leave one light on for about a minute, then you turn it off, then you turn on another light, and when you go check the room, the light that's warm is the one that was on for a minute. Dang. Dang. What a smart answer. So if we have a smart answer to this death and she figured it out. But you know what? That's that's going to be the – I think that's the gist of it, right? Yeah. If we have the character walk in, s- notice two or three things. Maybe there's like two cops in there, mm-hmm. right, that says – um it has to be the husband arrest him Mm -hmm. go look for him he goes wait the killer's in this room whoa hold on it is getting good it's getting good i assure you officer the killer is in this room right Mm -hmm. what if the killer what if the person who's killed is a woman right and i don't know the perfume is on the officer who said, go get the husband. Oh, dang. So he's trying to frame the husband when it's really the the officer officer that killed him. Perfume is good, but I I want something like, something you can see. It could be uh, as simple as detective shaking hands with the officer, notices he's not wearing his wedding ring, looks at the body, she's not wearing her wedding ring. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. And all, all of a sudden, that's one connection. But you can't prove a mystery with just one connection. Mm-hmm. So that's one. So wedding ring. Two. The smell. Smell. Three. What else can you do by just knowing that these two were together? The lips. Maybe you should kiss and you see the red lipstick on his lips. Ring. Smell. Just by looking at them, how do you know they're having an affair? How do you know? Damn, it's so hard to like think this because you know you have to be a person who actually has an affair. You know what I mean? <laughs> to know the answers. Uh, maybe something he has, or when you struggle. How do you know if you fought with somebody? It doesn't have to be an affair. How about when you fight with somebody? Scratch marks, maybe. Scratch marks. Um, okay. Let's do scratch marks. Because all he has to do is look, all, all this detective person needs to do is look at the hand. Mm-hmm. And that shot will tell the story of the ring and her nails. Mm-hmm. And then he can like look at the nails and like really get a magnifying glass. Mm-hmm. And then those nails are going to be consistent with 
with a face and then he can she can say something around the lines of like uh we can get the coroner over here and or like maybe she put something in the bag and this bag i guarantee you will have your dna which makes you in the scene of the crime which makes you the killer oh (laughs) and even when she's reading she'll be like oh (laughs) and even in uh in the story she'll be like oh (laughs) (laughs) yeah Yeah. i like that okay what was it okay so it's perfume scratch marks the ring scratch and ring and ring so we have to mention the scratch we also have to have a not just this person, but we have to have one obvious person. So, yeah, there's a husband who's not going to be in the scene, but there has to be, like, another person in there who looks shady. Like, hella shady. <laughs> like, emo almost. And, like, hiding a knife. Like, maybe he's a chef. <laughs> I don't know. It's true. It could be... We could find that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. But th- yeah. that's just something to throw off people. In this short three minute, you're like, <laughs> oh, it's him. For sure it's him. What? It's the cop? It has to be really yeah, shady looking. Yeah. I mean, that's why TV does it. Because Usually, they, want, they yeah. want the kids to go, he looks bad. Arrest him. Definitely bearded. Bearded. <laughs> bearded person. I've been seeing a lot of like those <laughs> type of people. With a tattoo? Tattoo. <laughs> Buy fake tattoos in your face. What race is he? Any, anyone. Okay, good yeah. answer. Good answer for the internet, bro. Yeah, see? <laughs> I ain't judging. <laughs> Anybody can really be the killer. Mm-hmm. All right, dude. Let's let's make this movie, dude. Let's call people. We got to call people. We got to ask if they want to be in our movie. I mean, it's a lot of favors. Mm-hmm. We don't have budget yet, you know? But it's fun. It is fun. Challenging. Um, maybe for those who are in the Bay Area, maybe because it's like, Join with us too, right? Yeah, do hit us up. DM us. We're down. Yeah. We need we need help. Let us know. I mean, if you're also trying to like learn filmmaking too, if you're trying to like, you know, broaden your skill set, maybe you could teach us too. Help yeah. us learn. Or just do the work for us, please. <laughs> That'd be also cool. But yeah, hit us up. I mean, we have a YouTube channel that probably could message right now i think so or we do have an ig page too dm us hit us up is that for it for today that's it dude well we'll see you next time peace yeah